You can see this is the National Executive Committee. All of us standing here pledging our solidarity with the people of Palestine. We stand here because we are deeply concerned about the atrocities that are unfolding in the Middle East and we have passed our condolences to the people of Israel as we are passing our condolences to the people of Palestine. And we have a full understanding of how the people of Palestine have taken up this issue because they are people as many countries and leaders in the world have uh, uh, opined that they have been under occupation for almost 75 years and people under occupation who have been waging a struggle against an oppressive government that has occupied their land but also a government that has in recent times been dubbed an apartheid state as people and an organization that has struggled against an oppressive system of apartheid, we do pledge solidarity with the Palestinians. And as the African National Congress, we have always pledged our solidarity with them and we've always insisted that the only solution for the problems in the Middle East, particularly between Israel and Palestine, is a two-state solution based on the 1967 borders as approved by the world community and the United Nations. Now, the violation of the rights of the Palestinians that has manifested itself through the occupation of their land, through bringing in settlers, so close and into their land is something that is causing a great deal of concern and has possibly sparked off this conflict that is now unfolding. The atrocities that are happening now where the residences of people in that part of the world are being raised to the floor, pregnant mothers, are not even able to give birth in a respectable manner. Hospitals are being raised to the floor. And, but the worst part is when the Israeli government now says 1.1 million people must evacuate the northern part of Gaza. Having closed all the exit routes, now we do believe that this is a serious matter of great gravity and concern. And to this end, we've called on the international community, the United Nations, and all other concerned international bodies to make sure that peace is installed in Palestine and that the Israeli government is directed at withdrawing this command of getting people out of the northern part of Gaza because it is in the end going to amount to almost genocide as many people are going to die as we speak now almost half a million people who are Palestinians have been displaced they've been removed from their homes they live in schools and other areas as well. This is the most tragic situation and almost dangerous situation that the people of Palestine have been exposed to. And we have called for the humanitarian corridors to be open so that food, water, and electricity can be made available to the people of Gaza. 